Hi and welcome back to my developer series on Access Advanced Modeling. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate calculation views from Access Classic to Access Advanced based models. To illustrate this example, I'm going to have a couple of CVs created in Access Classic. I got a delivery unit and inside my delivery unit, I got a package, a modeling package, and inside my modeling package, I got simple uh, calculation views created. I'm going to take those calculation views and migrate them to Access Advanced based models. And then once I have the migration done, I'm going to grab those objects and put it into Web ID for HANA and then start building them and then deploying them into different spaces which are supported for Access Advanced. That's going to be the simple scenario which I'm going to use it for this migration process and it's going to be a quick one to get started with. I've got four steps to explain this process at a very high level and those four steps are here. The first step is going to be preparing the delivery unit in Access Classic. I'll have to make sure all the objects in my delivery unit are supported for access advanced based models. For example, if I have any of the attribute views and analytical views in my access classic, I'll have to make sure they are migrated to calculation views before I start migrating. And also if I have any of the uh, scripted based calculation views, I'll have to make sure they are migrated to table functions and then uh, embed them into graphical series and etc. Once my objects are ready in my delivery unit, I can start proceeding with migration process. The second step is going to be connecting to Migration Assistant. Migration Assistant is a, a software available on Service Marketplace. It's a client tool. You can download it on your personal computer and then you can start using it. So I'm going to access my Migration Assistant using my command line tool and then connect to my Access Classic system uh, by providing the environment variables directly. Once I'm connected to my Access Classic system, the next step is going to be run migration tool. So I'm going to run uh, the migration tool and place the files into a uh, shared folder I can, where I can see the report of the migration, migration report, what is the migration report contains the, any of the errors or warnings, what kind of actions should I take uh, after the, in order to complete the migration process. And then fourth step is going to be import the migrated content uh, which was placed in the shared folder and just grab them into web IDE for HANA and then start building them and also uh, deploying them in different spaces using command line tools or any of the other uh, lifecycle management tools. So that's going to be the scenario I'm going to explain in the system now. So as in the steps outlined, it's the first step is going to be prepare delivery unit. I have my studio. I'm using Access, uh, HANA Express Edition software to illustrate this example. So I've got a um, classic system here and then I've got a content and then my, inside my content I got a modeling package and also have a reporting package. Got very simple uh, CVs created, a graphical CVs. I have those CVs captured in a delivery unit. I can check the delivery unit by uh, just selecting my package and say edit. I can see that my delivery delivery unit is uh, du underscore xsc. So my delivery unit is ready with all these supported objects for xsc and then I'm going to proceed with my next step which is to connect to access uh, migration assistant. That's a software I already installed on my personal computer. Uh, this is the software location and I'm going to access this location in my command line tools from my computer and then I'm and then I'm going to connect to my Access Classic uh, server by providing the host, SQL port, and my user ID and password. So um, I connect it to my Access Classic system, and then the third step is going to be run the migration tool uh, to migrate the objects in delivery unit of Access Classic into XSE based models. For that, I'm going to run Access Migration Command and I'm going to uh, grab the code from my notepad. This is the command for uh, running the migration. Just grabbing it here and, and pasting it here. Here I'm just, uh, my target di directory is going to be the same location as the, the client software is located. And then I just created a new folder migrated to XSC uh, so that I, all the migrated content is going to be saved in this, in this folder. Just running it. It's going to take a couple of uh, minutes and then grab the delivery unit 
from my access classic and I'm going to put it in into a folder and then uh, I can access further. Uh, I can see that my migration is finished. I can go to the folder and then see the directory. Um, yeah, I can see the folder has been created and I also see a report has been generated after the migration. I'm going to open this report and see what, what is in there. I can see the statistics and I can see the summary of the uh, migration process here. This is just a warning, so you can ignore the warning. Uh, if there is any critical error, vital errors, you can take a look into those errors and see what can I, what, what actions can be done to, to correct them. Since my report shows everything is good and then I can proceed with uh, taking the content from migrated folder into my web ID hub into my web ID for HANA, that's my next step. So the last step is going to be taking the content from the migrated folder and importing it into my web ID for HANA. I'm going to zip this content into a uh, compressed folder. And just grab this uh, zip folder to a different location or this location. I'm going to import this um, compressed folder into web ID for HANA. I got my web ID for HANA already opened up. I'm going to just access then, go into the workspace. I'm going to import the file into my workspace. I'm going to choose import, file or project, then browse it. I'm going to the same folder and then importing the uh, compressed folder into here. Extract archive and just say okay. So I can see that my a project is being created for for the migrated content. So I can see that the DB module has been created with the configuration and then the source folder with several synonyms in here and then I got an YAML file created in here with all the required services um, for uh, building uh, the HDI container based objects in, in, in XSCA. So the next step is I'm just going to start building them and then and then once the build has been completed I'll have to deploy them into a, a space which is required for my XSA based modeling. I can also see my calculation views in the modeling folder and also the reporting folder. So these are the two folders and I got my calculation views uh, automatically uh, created in my web IDE folder. So when I start building the objects in Web ID for HANA, they're going to get generated as a runtime objects in Database Explorer, which I can see after the build has been completed. Um, yeah, this is a very simple process to get started with or to get familiar with. Uh, I've given uh, this process in four simple steps. Uh, the, the concept is going to be this, just the four um, basic steps, but there could be more objects involved in in the delivery unit and then migrating them to XSA based objects in a bigger bigger scenarios. I hope it is very helpful. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video with a different topic.